all right so i got an email from a brother from nepal and he is coming to county cork uh, for a phd so cork cork is the second largest city in the republic of ireland and the third largest in the island of ireland so cork is very nice um, city to live uh, so dublin cork and galway these are the these are the most popular uh, city in ireland to live popular county in ireland to live but now the we'll we'll check today about living cost especially the rent and everything in uh, in cork so for that we'll go to the daft uh, and see what is uh, available for rent so the brother uh, <coughs> is coming with his wife so uh, rent in cork so it's a three bedroom three bathroom apartment and it's a three thousand four hundred ninety oh my god it's really costly uh, this is four bed three five zero zero per month wow all right so this is two bed two bathroom seventeen hundred per month and this is two bed two bath seventeen hundred five hundred per month and three bed one bath two five zero zero per month now the brother who is coming to cork uh, uh, his yearly salary will be 22000 per um, year 22000 so let's see 22000 divided by 12 so it's nearly 1800 euro per month right so he has to manage everything within 1833 euro so these are extremely costly right you see the monthly uh, sort of so he needs a one bedroom uh, apartment if they do not have children they can stay in a one bedroom apartment uh, the husband and wife but the if they have a children they have to uh, rent a two bedroom uh, apartment or two bedroom house right so all the thing i see here is like uh, extremely costly I mean it's a beyond his monthly salary uh, this is something cheap uh, two bedroom but if uh, 1400 goes to rent then he will be left with only 400 euro for the um, everything which is also uh, very uh, okay so this is a one bedroom one bathroom apartment and this also costs 1500 per month horrible so yeah it's very difficult um, at the moment uh, in rent terms of rent this is good 1500 per month two bedroom two bathroom apartment so more or less it is like uh, so this is also good 1300 per month one bed one bathroom so depending on the luck actually as i always tell you what is available when you come to ireland and and uh, what is the price you get so it's very costly in general you can see now this is all right um, uh, renting right now if he come if he comes al alone then he can share and let's see sharing in cork there are good number of properties available 203 so this is a double room house uh, so you have to stay with either owner or few other peoples in the house you'll get one double room uh, 800 per month but the thing is um, uh, if you are coming with your wife then you have to rent which i showed earlier uh, a few minutes ago uh, because you have to stay privately and these are this is something called share the share accommodation people generally do not allow couple to stay uh, in a shared sort of uh, accommodation 
unless uh, you know those people who are re who are giving you the giving the advertisement for rent so you can see in so in general you can see that if you uh, are coming with your uh, sort of wife then the average sort of monthly rent will be uh, average monthly rent will be like i i see 1500 then uh, electricity and everything i t 200 and then another like 300 for the grocery so these are the main uh, sort of um, these are the main sort of uh, expenses right so electricity rent and uh, grocery so it means like 2000 euro minimum uh, minimum you you need for two person two person uh, in sort of cork i mean now this 1500 is an average uh, for the rent if if you are lucky it could be it could be like 1300 or 1200 uh, or maybe more than 1500 right so that's an average so but if you are coming alone uh, then uh, average shared accommodation will be 700 uh, euro for your for one bed one bed in a shared house and then uh, electricity will be 200 and 3 200 for your sort of groceries and everything so it's okay but as uh, the problem is um, as i faced also uh, is uh, if you are coming with your wife and as a phd student your wife will not be given any work permit so she cannot earn so everything uh, every sort of uh, expenses will be from your scholarship which is 1833 euro uh, per month so this is to keep in mind and so i'll suggest uh, as i suggested everyone you come alone first and stay in a shared house save some money and within this uh, and and then search a house one bed or two bed whatever with your with sort of um, cheap which the rent is cheap and that you will find after talking to people and so on here in after coming to cork and so that's it uh, and what else university college so is coming university college cork this is a very good university in ireland so i don't know which which department he is coming and <clears throat> so you could have looked so and public transport in transport in cork uh, yeah i think there are like uh, public transport available but the uh, yeah i think this is all right so many buses are there so uh, not too bad for the example where i stay uh, the public transport is uh, where i stay in sligo the public transport is not um, uh, available that much so i had to buy a car and i had to start driving and all so in general dublin cork and galway you have uh, good relatively good public transport rest of the country does not have much sort of public transport so you have to sort of buy a car and so on and you buy a, a leap card a student leap card leap card uh, young adult student leap card uh, sorry student leap card uh, I think you have to apply yeah click here to apply uh, student leap card because uh, as so, uh, because this is cheap uh, and as you are coming uh, as a student PhD student then you are also eligible to apply for this student leap card so this is the first thing you should do after coming to uh, uh, coming to Cork and as usual uh, you uh, you make PPS uh, appointment 
in Cork. Yeah, PPS appointment in Cork. You read this thing uh, and call them uh, and whatever it is there. Um, this is also important. If you do not apply PPS appointment, then you will not get your scholarship. So this is the first thing you should do apart from applying for leap card uh, and then you second thing is immigration in cork you do your immigration and uh, information there is some visa and everything because you have to uh, you have to extend your visa after coming to cork so in your university there are immigration information and everything you check them you take an appointment and you uh, get your iris residence permit card after with the immigration and uh, with the um, with the police station okay so these are the thing three things number one so leap card the number two pps and uh, now pps application uh peace application and then immigration uh with garda in Cork. so these are the three things uh, to check and of course uh, you have to um, uh, rent somewhere near the university in Cork, right so this is and these are the four important thing you should do i think uh, this is the brief video i made for you only and hope uh, if things will be good for you